what's good you guys welcome back to black tea it's your girl ebony there are two topics i want to discuss in this video the first topic being none other than cardi b getting dragged all over social media after she referenced a tweet from candace owens that actually hinted that black supremacy does exist chill this is why i always say Stop retweeting or talking about issues that you have not educated yourself on, in my opinion. Now, it all started when Cardi B posted a video from the situation in Uvalde. She said this, so heartbreaking. She then says, make sure y'all check out my interview with David Letterman on Netflix. She then says, these mass events are not time for political parties or you social media politicians to be pushing agendas. People have lost their lives. Y'all don't care or have any consideration for what these families are going through or how they feel or what they want. Think before you speak. Now that is very interesting that she said think before speak, but she is tweeting all of this. Chow allegedly. She says, all these mass events are a senseless act due to the easy access of these objects. I would never want to stop the conversation of pushing for reform, but I want it to stop being compared to trauma because political views should not matter right now. Sorry to those who felt offended or hurt. A person says, girl, bye. Politics need to be discussed too, or nothing will ever change. And these will keep happening. She then says, I said that because of this tweet that went viral a couple weeks ago. Even Fox News was trying to compare the media coverage between two of these issues, pushing agendas, not caring about the pain families are actually going through. A person says, but you do understand that Fox promotes right wing. And by saying black S, you are reinforcing the fallacy. Black supremacy does not exist. Now she actually said this came from Fox news but that is untrue this tweet actually came from candace owens you guys know that candace owens and cardi b have a very nasty past and they're always throwing shots at each other on social media candace owens is always calling cardi b illiterate and then cardi b is always calling candace owens a sellout and so both of them have gone back and forth with each other and she did go ahead and reference candace's tweet however she removed candace's profile from her her tweet. So in retrospect, Cardi B wasn't saying this is her statement. She was referencing a statement made by somebody else. That does not make it right. And it does make people feel like you have been profiting off of black culture. Why would you reinforce something that is detrimental? I also think it's important to understand if you are someone who says that you use your platform. Cardi B sat down with um, the David Letterman show on Netflix and she said that she uses the F out of her platform. In order to use your platform, right, in an effective way, doesn't that mean you need to educate yourself on what this has done to America? For example, people know that Black Americans, a lot of the time, deal with trauma. And a lot of the Black American trauma is in response response to what white supremacy has done to the culture. If you are someone who wants to be you know, an advocate for the culture, somebody who says that she speaks out, you have to educate yourself on these issues because if you don't, even if you don't say anything and you reference, it seems like you're throwing black culture under the bus. And this is what I'm seeing online from a lot of people who are upset with Cardi. Now, another person says, leave politics and stick to making it's up and stuck before you clown yourself further. She says, it's interesting that y'all here acting like y'all care, but not the person that made the original tweet. Then I go to y'all page and I see what y'all are about. Don't y'all leave that stand stuff aside for once? A person says, so you know it's stupid and irrelevant and you still decided to quote it. Now who looks dumb? She says, I decided to tweet about it because every time this happens, people try to push different agendas for their own personal gain, not giving anything about these families' feelings. What's so hard to comprehend? This goes to the first tweet about it. Now several people did react to what Cardi had to say on Twitter. One person saying this, I love Cardi B, but if you cannot understand the 
harmfulness in her using the term black supremacy, then there is no point in anyone going back and forth with you. That man who actually plowed through a crowd during Christmas was not black S. He literally had a history of running people over. Girl, black what? What are you even talking about? Cardi ain't no black S. Did someone say this and you just repeated it? Because there is no such thing. Both situations. But you need to get more details on who drove that car. Blacks never hold anything from power to owning people here to be supreme among anybody. You're an immigrant who vultures off of black American culture while teaching our kids to be ratchet and you have the nerve to call us black? chill talk about a mess now for those of you guys who don't know i do want to explain what black supremacy is so you guys understand my viewpoint now the definition of black supremacy is where black people right they are saying that black people feel that they are superior to other people in other races okay now this is something that we do not see prevalent as much as we saw back in the 1960s but it does exist um, the famous Dr. Martin Luther King talked about this same black supremacy in the 1960s. And Dr. King also said that it was a lot more damaging. And he also said it was just as dangerous as white supremacy. So there is this notion that black supremacy does exist. Although it's not shown everywhere all over social media, there are certain instances where we do see it happen. But in this situation here, I think Cardi B was trying to say, that we need to focus on the people who have passed and not making political comments or trying to use this as a political agenda, which I agree with. However, when she referenced the tweet, she did not explain it correctly. And I think because she was not educated on what these things meant, it made it seem like she was endorsing this statement. And while she wasn't endorsing it, she was referencing it, it did throw a lot of people off. And this is why I say, stop platforming ignorance if you don't know something or you have a question about something or you have a strong feeling about something educate yourself first once you educate yourself on the situation then make your own comments don't utilize somebody else's theory to piggyback off of so that you can start a conversation start the conversation on your own because you are a hundred percent more likely to reach people on a deeper level than to cause people to cause more damage. So I think her tweet, while it wasn't intended to be um, disrespectful, came off extremely, extremely, in my opinion, um, not educated on the facts. However, I could be wrong and you guys will tell me how you feel about this down below. Chill. Sometimes you just got to stay out of black people's business, okay? Now, the last topic I do want to discuss is several insiders coming out to say that Meek Mill wanted to work with Doja Cat However, he got curved and now he's settling to do a song with Megan Thee Stallion and another male rapper. Now, this is not news to me. You guys know that at the height of Nicki Minaj's hate train and situation with Cardi B, what did Meek Mill do? Well, he ran to work with Cardi B. On top of that, Meek Mill was also the gentleman to give Remy Ma a lot of information about Nicki on Sheether. And then he ran to support Sheether after him and Nicki fell out. This is nothing new. I do want to say kudos to Doja Cat. She held her ground and she said, nigga, please. Okay, there is no reason for me to even think about collabing with you. You're nowhere on my level, okay? And it's just so funny to me because Meek Mill literally every year, it never fails, tries to reattach itself to Nicki Minaj. If it's not attaching himself to people who love her, it's him attaching himself to throwing subliminal tweets. It's the same thing with Safari. Safari did all this talking about the DJ that mistaken Cardi B for Nicki. He ain't said nothing about Cardi be all this time but once it involved Nicki Minaj here he go running his mouth it's like Meek Mill are you that desperate for attention in my opinion that you would literally try to seek out people who support Nicki to collaborate you not even on billboard what is Doja Cat looking like collaborating with you what's going on with your label dream chasers Hmm. What's going on with your music? Why I don't see you hanging out with Jay-Z no more, okay? What's going on with Rock Nation? What is going on with your career? Chill. <laughs> 
I just don't understand. Like, he irks me. He is, like, such a stalker. It's allegedly, in my opinion, like, he's obsessed with Nikki. Like, he will do anything just to get some type of connection to her. It is sick and weird. Allegedly. So, let me know what you guys think about these topics down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a big thumbs up. I love you guys so much. And you already know we'll talk very soon. Bye.